Hey everybody, it's Rutledge Wood. I'm here at SEMA 2019 and it is a big year because the Supras are here. I'm standing in front of one of my favorite ones. This is Christopher Bell's race winning Supra right here. He's got six races so far this year. Pretty unbelievable. But let's take a look around. Let's go check out some of the GR Super 2020s that are here. Of course, you can't help but love the yellow in person, right? And this year was really exciting because I actually got to build one against my friend Ed Lauka. So I want to show you my car and what we did. It's tough because you're trying to reimagine a brand new car that was just imagined, but that's what's so cool about the new Supra and the way that Toyota lets people really dig in there and customize it. This is my car, what we're calling the Hyperboost Edition. So I wanted something that was loud and proud, had that kind of drifting, plus sort of like a, a supercar for the everyday person. That's what we want to make. So my buddy Rick Leos helped me come up with this. It's a 20 piece body kit, tons of carbon fiber, KW suspension, Brembo brakes sitting on light speed wheels with Continental Tire Extreme Contact Sports on there. That's a 335 tire in the rear. How nuts is that? Now paint wise, I want to give something that was a nice Toyota tribute. So we did the TRD cement paint off the TRD Pro Tacoma and Tundra. We did real carbon fiber on the roof going down to a really cool carbon fiber duck bill because you can really never have too much spoiler. And then this beautiful thing back here is a work of art. My face is on the floor mats too, which I think is pretty cool. But we didn't want it to just look wild. We wanted it to perform too. So Boost Logic came in with their 750 package. So it's got a big old Garrett Turbo on there. We got 750 to the wheels. That's a lot of power. So that's one kind of Supra, but how about if you want to really make a true race car Supra? Come take a look at this. This is the new Supra GT4. Now it's a concept right now, but this is coming. People are gonna be able to actually buy a race ready Supra to go hit the track with. Now this has got a different KW suspension on it than my car does, but still KW. It's got Brembos, it's got OZ wheels, Pirelli slicks on there. This thing's been tuned, it's got a lot of work done to it, but you could literally go and order one of these and then you could go compete every single weekend at the racetrack. How cool is that? That's the new Supra. That's what Toyota's doing. They're making sure that everybody who loves these cars can actually get to them and go use them for what they're for, you know? Now I want to show you my friend Ed's car that I built my car again. So we had the Hyper Boost, and now take a look at the Heritage Edition. My friend Ed said he wanted to make something that had really the coolest cues of the Mark IV, but in a Mark V, which is what this is. So when you look at the headlights and the taillights, you definitely get that Mark IV Supra feel but it's the wing that really does it. When you see that metallic red paint on there, on a true Mark IV wing that's been cut down and made to fit, you really get a feel for what they were doing. That rear setup though, with the center exit exhaust, the new rear suspension, this sucker is insane. I mean, huge Brembo's again, custom HRE wheels on this thing, and they really brought in that nice metal feel that's on the door handles, on here, on the exhaust. It did a ton of work to this car. So people can pick which one is better, but it's tough because I didn't build this one and there's a small chance I might like it better than mine. We'll see. How about if you want something more wild, how about the wasabi concept? This one, obviously the color wasabi green is really laying out here. But when you see this car again, dumped on 20s, tons of carbon fiber on this thing too. And Toyota really went to work on trying to make something that was fun, that was different, but still screamed Supra. So I love this car. I would drive this one every day, honestly. But how can you not love the Pace car? That's right. This is a car that I drove this car around Watkins Glen International this year at the track, because this is one of the cars that paces the Xfinity series. Yeah. So not only does Christopher Bell get to race a Supra, but there is a Supra Pace car. And that's what I love about SEMA. That's what I love about Toyota. They know what the enthusiast wants. They get out there, they give them something fun that they can drive and they can even make it their own. This is amazing. I hope you like all the cars you saw because I know there's a few here I'd love to take home.